folks. Good morning. It's Thursday. It is Thursday. <laughs> and it's really funny. We have It's Friday Eve. It's Friday Eve. That's what it's about. It is. It sure is. I'm gonna go ahead and tag some people. I'm gonna tag you. Tag, 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 tag. No, I'm not coming on. Come on in and join the fun. We're doing this this morning because I had um morning break. And so we thought we would do it this morning. Yeah. There's some people. Yay. Jingles. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. Mm -hmm. It's cloudy and cuddly today. It is cuddly. <laughs> cuddly, cuddly the weather cuddly. is cuddly where we are. I hope it is where you are. That's right. It's a good <laughs> coffee drinking day. Yes. Hey, the coffee sounds good. Mm. Mm. With some caramel and some pumpkin and some other stuff in it. Everything bad. It's just like candy. Love it. <laughs> Well, today is the last book of Titus, and that went fast. There was only three books. Uh, but there was a lot of information, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. And I think this could even be a really big book for deeper theology input, too. I mean, like, it's a, it is a small book, but it has, like, so many good things in it. And it's it's hard to pick what you want to read. Yes, because, yes. You know, it's true. Good stuff. Well, I'm going to go first on my notes today. Yay. We're going to take turns flip-flopping. Go get them, girl. Yeah. So, I like Titus 3 because it is pretty cut and dry. Of how we should conduct ourselves. It is important that we never confuse the kingdoms of this world with the kingdom of God. We do not submit to earthly authorities because they have an inherent right to lead, but because the creator has established them for our welfare. Mm. So that's saying we don't um, follow them because it, they have a right, but we follow them because God told us to. Well, he established it that way. Honestly, the authority is people still. It is. Yeah. And it yeah. says... Um, I got all this from R.C. Sproul, by the way. But it was saying that um, without any leaders and without any law, there'd just be utter chaos, which is what the world would be if God left us alone to be ourselves, because we are a mess. You know, so he's, in, God set that up that way. In theology, they call it um, common grace. Because, <coughs> um, you know, there's grace and salvation, but there's common grace, which God helps everybody, mm -hmm. um, whether they like him or not. Yeah. So. Well, I was going to say, um, it doesn't matter if you're you know, Democrat, Republican, liberal, whatever your view is or whatever thing, it's God set it up. And so we follow laws, we follow rules and we go from there. Yeah. So I thought that was kind of cool. I like that. And Christian courtesy includes not speaking evil of anyone, something that is hard to do when others are gossiping. Mm -hmm. And so it says, let us as followers of the Lord who was slandered unjustly, refuse to participate in speaking evil of other people. May we be the first to object when rumors and innuendos are spread, and may we also not air the dirty laundry of other people. In this way, we protect others from harm. And I thought that was a really good one because who was more unjustly accused of everything than Jesus? So right. totally. we don't have a lot a leg to stand on. That's pretty good. And then one last part. Pretty. Um, this is kind of talking about where it says our former selves. And R.C. Sproul had quoted John Calvin in this section, so I know you'll be excited. Mm. But it says Calvin also reminds us. That they who have been, they who have now been enlightened by the Lord, being humbled by the remembrance of their former ignorance, should not exalt themselves proudly over others, mm -hmm. or treat them with greater harshness or severity than that which they think ought to have been exercised towards themselves, when they were what those are now. May the grace of our Lord toward toward us move us to be full of grace with all people. Basically, just saying that we were once babies and if we're grown up now in god um be nice to people that are still in baby stage with god because we all have to learn and we all have to go through it and we should help That's each true. other yeah yay yay so take it away piggy <laughs> okay so uh, um i just looked at um i just know with one verse you were uh, smarter than me i just liked it i had to do it well it was good it was really good mm -hmm. and um i like what you're talking about um in verse 5, it talks about he saved us not because of works done by us in righteousness. Mm -hmm. And um, to help understand what's being said here, I thought I'd use this um, um, analogy. Um, imagine for a minute that uh, we're drawing water out of a well. Okay. And when we get the water up to the top, it comes out and it's dirty. Mm -hmm. um, so we may say to ourselves, well, maybe <coughs> if I go a little deeper in the water, maybe it's cleaner. So you put the bucket back down there and draw some more out. Yeah. And it comes out dirty again. Okay. So no matter how many times we draw the water out of the well, it comes out dirty. Um, in order to get clean water, we're going to have to go to another source. Mm. Um, we have to go outside of that well to find clean water. Okay. And so if we keep digging inside ourselves to find righteousness, pleasing to God, we'll keep drawing out dirty water. Pew. Yeah. 
Because our righteousness, like when measured with God's commandments and stuff, um, his standards are like filthy rags according to him. Yes. But God gives us another source outside of ourselves, and that's what we're getting at here. That's cool. Um, in our, we don't have in our own righteousness something clean enough for God. Mm -mm. So in order to find that righteousness pleasing God, we have to, and not only the righteousness that pleases God, but for our own peace, mm -hmm. our own rest, we can work ourselves to death trying to find that righteousness. And it's but, because we're born into sin, and we're always going to be dirty. No matter how clean we are, no matter how many times we wash something, it's, we're always dirty. And yeah, yeah. And um, that's very good. <laughs> and so this is where Jesus comes in. And this might help understand a little bit more about what salvation is. Mm -hmm. um, the level of righteousness that God looks for is only found in Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, one thing to remember, and it's, it's important to remember, is that not only did Jesus die for us, Jesus lived for us. Mm -hmm. He died on our behalf, but he also lived on our behalf. Which is cool. Yeah, so... And that's easily um, forgotten, I think, too. Yeah. So, um, uh, in the way he did it, Jesus was totally obedient to God's mm -hmm. law. So so now, like the well, instead of getting <laughs> inside ourselves and find that cleanness and righteousness, we can look outside of ourselves to him who is our righteousness. Um, and that's what this whole thing is about. Um this is what's meant by accepting Christ. So if you understand, want to know that when you hear about to accept Christ or to know Christ or what salvation is about, um, is that we look away from ourselves to another source for righteousness, and that's Jesus. And, and when we accept him, we, we, accept, we accept Christ based on his righteousness and not our own. So, it's, so that's what it is. It comes down to a nutshell. Is we're not going to dig in our own well to find clean water. We're going to look into another source. We're That's cool. We're Christ to be our righteousness. That's a good analogy. Yeah. That's cool. Thanks. I like it. Yeah. I was going to say, so he could be like our bleach. Jesus is the bleach. He's more than bleach because he doesn't just um, whiten the sin. He takes away the sin. Nice. That's so, really good. Yeah. <laughs> more than bleach. More than bleach. That's awesome, though. That's really cool. I like that, though, with the well. That's a good analogy. Yeah. Um, I was... At, <clears throat> at work, there was a girl who had a book that was like um, supposed to... Teach her how to look inside to be more, find her more potential, find mm. her to be more better and cleaner. And it kept talking about looking inside herself. And I looked at that and I was like, you can't find that in yourself. You have to look outside yourself to find better. That's that's so, pretty that's pretty deep, really. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's it. I like it. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for joining us, you guys. Hope you have a wonderful Thursday. Yeah. And we'll see you tomorrow for Friday. And that is a new book. What is the food for today? You guys... We got to figure out, we have Taco Tuesday and Waffle Wednesday, and we're going to have something for Thursday. So that's your guys' assignment, to put something on the website to go with something Thursday. Turkey Thursday? No, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. All right, we'll put All some right. comments in. That'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to even think what starts with a T that's the, with food. I have no idea. It's not ice cream. It's not dessert. We have to make a new one up. Make, hey, make a new, like a new word up. Hmm. I'm mm. trying to think. That's a good one. Yeah. All right. Put some All comments right. in. Yeah. <laughs> Love you guys. Let's see. You. Thanks for joining. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Tomorrow's one John. No. It is. Bye. Bye. <laughs>